Welcome to the 48th video of Bangkok Unmasked, the YouTube channel that helps you get the most out of your visit to Bangkok City. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. In this video, I'm going to give you some ideas for finding friends in Bangkok. An important note, the advice in this video applies to all Bangkok visitors, whether you're in the city for just a few days, or plan to stay for weeks, months, or even years. Let's get started. Maybe you're in the city alone. Maybe you only know one or two people. Maybe you only know plenty of people. Irrespective, you'll want to meet new friends in Bangkok. For most people, it won't be a want, it'll be a need. Even though Bangkok has a population of over 8 million, it can easily become a very lonely place without friends and a broad support network. This is compounded if you don't already speak the Thai language. While more Thai speak English than when I arrived in the country 19 years ago, most don't speak English to any reasonable level of fluency. What follows is what I think are the three best options for finding friends in Bangkok. Finding friends in Bangkok, option number one, meetups. In my opinion, one of the single best ways to meet new people is through meetups. If you haven't checked out meetup.com, this should absolutely be your first port of call. Whatever you're interested in, there's likely a meetup for it. Note, if you want to simply network for work purposes, you can absolutely do this through meetup.com too. To give you an idea of what's available, what follows are some of the meetup groups. It's a diverse selection of options. Startup Grind Bangkok, Bangkok Paintball, Bangkok Improv. This is an improv comedy meetup. BKK Machine Learning, Bangkok Scientifique, Bangkok Badminton, Bangkok Urban Hiking Meetup. The Bangkok Wine Club, Bangkok RPG Group, Bangkok English Speakers Lunch Group, Bangkok Meditation, BKK Book Club. And this is just scratching the surface. One of the best things is that meetup.com is free to use. They only charge for organiser subscriptions, i.e. to start and lead meetup groups as an organiser. Finding friends in Bangkok, option number two, intonations.org. Intonations.org is another meetup option. Through the platform, you'll be able to access a large community of expats in Bangkok. Intonations is the largest global expat network with over 3.2 million members. In Bangkok, they facilitate a huge variety of events and activities where ex expats gather. It's a great option to build contacts and build relationships. The get-togethers are usually held in exclusive locations throughout the city. The great thing is that like meetup.com, you can join groups of like-minded people through the groups that meet up at designated locations on a frequent basis. What follows are some examples of what you can expect. Bangkok Culture Group, Bangkok Professional Networking, Bangkok Explorers Group, Bangkok Nightlife and Drinks Group, Bangkok Changemakers Group, Bangkok Chess Group, Bangkok Music Group, and Bangkok Latin Night Group. Again, this is just scratching the surface. Currently a three month membership to Intonations is $7.95 per month. The longer your membership period, the cheaper the monthly fee becomes. Finding friends in Bangkok, option number three, ChickyNet. ChickyNet is a community of expat women living and working in Thailand. It has become one of the largest communities of expat women in Thailand. The community was founded in 2009 and now boasts over 3,300 members. You can find them through their Facebook group. Finding friends in Bangkok, option number four, 13 more ideas. If none of the first three options look of interest, and especially if you're an extrovert, you can meet new friends in Bangkok through the following places. Number one, bars and pubs. Sukhumvit and Silom are the areas that you want to target. Number two, Koh San Road. Number three, volunteering. The Mirror Foundation is a solid option. Check out a video that I did on this organisation through the eye icon above. Number four, business associations. Number five, cultural events like local theatre, ballet or orchestra. Number six, art galleries. I strongly recommend the BACC. Check out a video that I did on this organisation through the eye icon above. Number seven, join a gym. If you're near to Rama 6, you can't beat the Atrium Athletic Club. Check out a video that I did on this gym through the eye icon above. Number 8. 
Toastmasters. Number nine, find a church or religious community. Number 10, go to seminars, book signings or speaking events. Number 11, hang out at a jazz or music club. Number 12, hang out at one of the many Bangkok museums. Number 13, take a cooking class or any class. Ultimately, if you're having problems finding friends in Bangkok, it's really due to a lack of imagination and drive. Bangkok may seem like an impersonal city, but you really are spoiled for choice regarding options to meet new people. Anyway, that's it for this video. Expect a new video next week. For all your techies out there, this video is shot on a Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus and edited using HitFilm Express. To check out details on arranging a bespoke Bangkok tour with experienced tour guides, please click on the link in this video's description section. Finally, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel through the button below. Also, I'd like to hear from you if you have any questions or comments regarding finding friends in Bangkok. Maybe you have some great suggestions that I missed. Please do reach out to me through the comment section of this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.